Yay! Okay, uh, <laughs> I, I'm. This is my first time participating in this, and it's really fun. I'm excited. I, it's I'm, it's a mystery build. I'll have a link to the website below. I'm not sure if it's still if if there's still some available. It's in Canada and USA only. It's a little bit. It's well. It's actually quite a lot extra to ship it to Canada. Depending on how this one goes, I, I might try again next year. It's really it's really a cool idea and concept. So basically you get a, this box, a mystery box, and it contains art supplies and you have to create a project with only what's contained in the box. And then you, you show your project and you have a chance of winning some money and stuff. Anyway, it's it's really cool. It's it's really it's really neat and fun. So I'm going to open it up and I'll be back. Okay. Um. Yay, this is exciting. Uh, it was a little bit complicated to figure out how to open the box, but anyway. The instructions are supposed to be in here too. Like the, you know, how to, how the contest works. And, okay, so I guess it was a bunch of papers to, oh, and some nice big uh, bubble wrap. Okay, so even the, even these things might even make it, make their way into the, the project, depending on what's what's involved okay so okay mr. fly go get get okay so ooh. okay now this looks exciting look at that cool okay it looks like I have some more getting into opening to do Maybe I will do this. Kind of as if it were a puzzle box. Ooh, and I should save that too. So hopefully I didn't... Hopefully this isn't a bad idea to turn it upside down like that. like a rather large box for for this box <laughs> but anyway so when we got when we ordered this it it was uh they were having a sale and there weren't very many of them left okay packing peanuts let's see what we have let's reverse that Hey, it smells like there's some interesting stuff in here. Sponge. That looks like an ear. Ooh. Okay, now that some clay-like stuff. That must be what's causing the smell right there. I'm probably going to want to use gloves whenever I get around to making something with it all. Okay, I got all the packing peanuts out. Okay, let's see. Looks like we start with a masonite or some kind of wood like panel that looks like it might be the instructions and things yeah that's that's the information about what we're doing here can you make with this okay now this is awesome stuff I'm excited <laughs> okay and a nice little canvas I love um, canvas boards that's my favorite type of thing to, to work with and this 
like I said, this is probably what's causing the smell. Okay, I'm not sure what's inside the... Oh, it looks like it's like plaster of Paris or something like that. Some wire. This is cool. Like, I, I, this looks like I'll be able to like make a sculpture. And I, I'm excited. Okay, and there's some wooden... They're not dowels because they're, they're square, but unless square dowels exist. And then there's a a foam one and a metal one so that I can make a... Okay, this is this is really cool. A sponge. That, that'll be handy like even after I've created the project for the for the contest I'll be able to do oh cool I get a I get an artist mannequin I have I have some of these but not a small one like this one that is cool okay that's exciting and <laughs> I have a I have an ear good luck with your project <laughs> Vincent, okay, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, well, I mean, it's sort of funny. <laughs> well, it is funny. Okay, and there's something inside the egg, maybe. Or maybe the egg is... Oh! Look! It's money! That looks like an actual, not a project material. But yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that. And then some string and two wooden pieces. Okay, I gotta get my oh and and a wire mesh. So I need to get my. Creative juices flowing here. That is neat and exciting. After that, my excitement turned to intimidation because I hadn't worked with most of these materials before. So Franklin got me some materials to practice with and this happened. I can't get it off without any help. <laughs> Almost as soon as I saw the theme, Build a Dream, even before I got the box, I knew I wanted to build Rexy. I used this art journal entry about the dream I had of him as my reference, and you may notice that Rexy is on the banner for my YouTube channel. I cut a bunch of these shapes to act to uh, represent feathers on his head, and 
so yeah, that's what I'm showing here. I ran into lighting issues for the video of me building him, and I kept running out of materials and having to improvise with things in the box to give him a better shape and to make his furry parts especially. Uh, but I guess in the end he turned out as best as I could with what I had to work with. But I kind of wish that I had not run out because then I, you know, I could have... Well, yeah, I, he, he could have looked a lot better than he does. But, anyway. I wish that I could have had more clay or something to make his legs bulkier and better shaped so that they didn't look so straight and square, but oh, oh. you can really tell, especially on his backside, that I did run out of materials and yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. For some reason I had a really hard time painting his eyes. I was allowed to use some things that were not in the box such as paint and I added a little bit of gloss medium. It'll be obvious to you that I do not know how to sew or make clothes or whatever <laughs> and yeah so this was kind of bad and when I put the clothes on him they, they ripped and oh it was terrible but oh well I managed to get them on him and there you go if I still had materials such as clay or packing peanuts or something like that I would have carved a face on him or something I would have made him look more like a person, giving him hair and all kinds of stuff. I had to make paper beads and then smush them because I didn't really have anything else to use to make the claws. I... yeah. <laughs> I just did the best I could.